Hello everyone! For this tutorial you're going to need 2 inch or 50 millimeter grass screwing ribbon in black, white, and yellow, a size 30 or 3 quarter inch covered button kit, a black flower stamen with two heads, a hot glue gun and some glue, something to prevent fraying on your ribbon, so fray check, a hot tool or a lighter, some scissors, some tweezers, and a long pin. From your white grass grain ribbon, cut two 2 inch by 2 inch or 5 centimeter by 5 centimeter squares. Then cut two 2 inch or 5 centimeter squares from your black grass grain. Then you'll need a 1 and a half inch or 4 centimeter square from your yellow, a 1 and a quarter inch or 3 centimeter square from your black, and a 1 inch or 2.5 centimeter square from yellow. Use fray check or a lighter to seal all of the raw edges where you've cut your ribbon, just to prevent them from fraying. Take your 2 inch or 5 centimeter black square and fold the top point down to the bottom point to form a triangle. And then take your one and a half inch or four centimeter yellow square and repeat that. Just fold the top point down and then line the bottom edges up with the black triangle. And then do that again with the one and a quarter inch or three centimeters black square. And then again with the one inch or two and a half centimeters yellow square. And just make sure all of those bottom points and edges are lined up together nicely. And use a long pin to pin them all together securely down the center line. And now fold down one of the side points of the smallest yellow triangle down to the bottom center point and then fold down the other side point down to the bottom center and repeat that with each of the other triangles folding both of the side points down to the center. Use your fingers to hold the open ends together tightly and fold the sides backwards. And then remove the pin. And use your tweezers to hold the edges together tightly. And use sharp scissors to trim off approximately a quarter of an inch or six millimeters from the end. And then apply a small amount of hot glue to that raw edge and squeeze it between your fingers for a few seconds until it hardens into a flat glue tag. And then you can trim off any excess glue. Now use your tweezers to pull up any of the ribbon that's kind of slipped down. You want to be able to see all of the colors clearly. Yellow, black, yellow, black. I like to put a small dot of hot glue in between the layers just to keep the ribbon from slipping back down. Thank you. 
And that's it, you've made the body for your bumblebee. Now take one of your two inch or five centimeter squares of white and fold the top point down to the bottom. And then fold each side point down to the bottom center point. And then pinch the bottom point together and fold the sides back. Use your tweezers to hold the end of your wing tightly, about a quarter of an inch or six millimeter away from the end, and trim off that end and seal it with the hot glue like we did before. Turn your wing over and apply a small dot of hot glue to each of the side points. And then fold each side point in to meet in the center. Now repeat all of those steps to make your second wing in the exact same way. Compare both of your wings and just make sure they're similar in size and shape. If one is quite a bit bigger, you can always retrim it if you need to. Apply a thin line of hot glue to the side of the body close to the end, and then attach the side of one of the wings. The edges should line up together in the center. And then repeat that with the other side and the other wing. Again, making sure that everything is centered and even. With your cover button kit, use your pliers to remove the wire loop from the back of the button. And then take your two inch or five centimeter square black grass grain and place it on top of the tool and then place the top of the button curved part down and push it into the tool. I find with grass grain it can be really hard to snap it into the tool so I use the bottom of my pliers to really push it in. And then just pull the ribbon to make sure there's no creases or anything caught. It's nice and even. and trim off any excess ribbon, leaving just enough to get tucked in. And fold all of that excess ribbon down into the top of the button. And use the bottom of the tool to snap the bottom of the button into place. And that's the head for your bumblebee.
fill up the back of the button with hot glue. And then attach it onto the center of your bumblebee over top of the edges of the wings. I like to make sure that the ridges of the grass grain are running diagonally. It just looks nicer on the finished bumblebee. Take the black flower stamen and cut it in half. And then decide how long you want your antenna to be. I like mine roughly three quarters of an inch or two centimeters, so I trim them just a little. Apply a small dot of hot glue to the back of the bumblebee head and insert each antenna. Make sure that you keep them separated and that they're even and centered properly. To attach your bumblebee to an alligator clip, you'll need a two and a half inch alligator clip and five inches of three eight inch grass grain ribbon. Heat seal both ends of the grass grain ribbon. And apply a thin strip of hot glue to one end of the ribbon and attach it to the underside of the top of your alligator clip. Then apply more hot glue to the bottom of the ribbon and press that down onto the top of the clip. Apply glue to the last of the ribbon and then tuck it down and around the handle of the clip. Now decide how you want your bumblebee to be placed on your clip. I like mine on a slight angle. Just make sure that you don't place it over the handle or every time you open the clip you'll squish your bumblebee. And just apply some hot glue to the center of your bumblebee and press it down on top of the clip to secure. And that's it. You're done. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think of the video down in the comments below. Thank <laughs> you.